In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to test any car you want in Gran Turismo Sport for absolute free. The method is quite simple and there are only a few steps to follow, so here we go. First, you wanna be in the main menu, then you wanna go to Brand Central. Now press the PS button to go to the PlayStation 4's main menu, then go to Settings, then Network, and untick the Connect to Internet box. What you're doing here is basically disabling the internet on your PS4. From here, go back to the game and you can start shopping for whatever car you want. Uh, the only disadvantage of this method is that you're gonna have to have the credits up front, so basically you won't be able to buy any cars you can't afford. But as for the ones you can afford, you'll be able to buy them, drive them, but they won't be saved on your profile. So after you're done testing them, you'll get your credits back and I'll show you how to do so. I've always wanted to drive the Aston Martin Vulcan, but I've always been afraid it would be a disappointment. And after doing this method and testing it, let's just say I'm glad I didn't spend 3.3 million credits on it. I'm done with it. Right, let's proceed. As I said before, you can buy whatever cars you want. Um, I want to test out the M6 in Mount Panorama. Where's the BMW? Uh, yes, thank you. M6. I don't. I, is there even a difference between these two? I'm gonna assume there isn't. Um, M livery. When you when you get to this part, you just have to click OK and OK and everything should be fine. Oh, I've also never driven the McLaren Vision GT, so where is McLaren? Britain. Yeah, you can you can buy whatever whatever car you want. I don't want the GR1 one. I want the GRX. In black. Okay. And yeah, that's about it. No, 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 no. I also want to drive the. Um, I forgot what it's called. Yes. You'll see it. The old Formula One car. Yes, the F1500 TA or something like that. Uh, now I'm, I think I'm done. Now, here's an important thing to notice. Do not get out of the brand central unless you're done buying every car you want to test out. Because if you do get out of the brand central, you get locked out of it. And the only way to get back into the brand central is by going back online. Now, don't go back online, don't enable the internet unless you're sure about the cars you've bought. If you don't want to keep them, if you're not sure if you want to keep them or not, don't enable the internet. If you get locked out of the brand central, close the game, enable the internet, then open the game again, then go to brand central, then repeat the process we did in the beginning. Now, when it comes to driving, just go to arcade. Let me let me get out of the brand center first. And as you can see here, I'm locked out of the brand central. 
Now, when it comes to testing them, go to arcade and load up any any event you want. I like I like time trials. It could be any sort of event you want, really. My favorite place to test any car is, for some reason, Mount Panorama. I'm gonna start with the M6. Right, so here I have it. Now, if you wanna change cars in the middle of a session, you don't have to actually get out. I don't know if you guys know this, but you can change cars uh, from here. Uh, McLaren. Now, after you're done driving them, all you have to do is close the game, enable the internet, and then reopen the game. And from here you'll see how all of your credits are back and you can legitimately buy any of the cars you tested and liked. Now, you could just be patient and wait to get them on the daily rewards, or you could just save enough credits to buy them, but if you can't be bothered to wait, you could just do this method. And it would also stop you from wasting credits on cars you don't like. And the other good thing about this method is that it will not get you banned or anything because you're not breaking any rules, you're not acquiring the cars illicitly. You're testing them for a brief moment, they are, they are not yours. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Your music sucks. It's terrible. It pains me to even think about it. I can't.